Hey there, this is K4A. In uh, this video today we are going to use sketchbook and learn how to zoom, rotate and move canvas. Uh, so uh, in previous videos, if you have watched them, I hope you have uh, downloaded Autodesk sketchbook which is still free and you can use it without problem uh, and make professional art illustration sketches and so on so i'm going to use that version okay so when you start the autodesk sketchbook uh, and sometimes i will just say sketchbook and so on so just don't get me wrong or get confused with that pro version all of those things which i'm showing here should be the same so when you start the sketchbook for first time and uh, every other time when you start it it should uh, start something like this you have a, a white screen white space for you to draw in draw uh, illustrate sketch and uh, so on and you have lots of tools on your left side top uh, top and uh, bottom left corner also and uh, maybe some some of you uh, will have some kind of different uh, setup but this is uh, mostly how it looks so we're not going to uh, explain those tools uh, in this video don't worry for uh, today just a very simple um, feature on uh, zooming uh, moving and rotating and again just uh, this white screen white space is actually your canvas your piece of paper uh, so think about that and the first thing uh, uh, I would probably do if uh, and I do it when I start a new software or some new uh, game or something like that I start moving my uh, mouse and here it is my cursor where uh, where uh, I move my mouse it follows it and uh, other thing is probably clicking and okay I can draw a uh, nice and another thing which I would try would uh, uh, scrolling my um, mouse wheel so uh, which is great in this software because it shows me that with my mouse wheel I can zoom in and out so we have already learned how to zoom in and out with mouse will scroll in or scroll out and you zoom in and when you zoom out you can see the whole uh, image the whole uh, blank space or white space or ca canvas or however you call it i will probably mostly call it a canvas but i will also call it a piece of paper or whatever so uh, you see the borders the limits so you can draw only so far to the top bottom left and right and again uh, another another thing which is really great for me and is uh, specific i think to uh, sketchbook is that uh, when i put my cursor to for example top uh, here top left corner where i'm drawing now and then scroll my mouse wheel look at the canvas now it zooms to that point zoom out so if you have understood me well and if you have tried it yourself uh, this feature lets you zoom in specific points without even moving your mouse or uh, moving your uh, keyboard or uh, pressing some buttons or stuff like that just move your mouse where you want and then scroll and it zooms into different so top left corner top right corner top bottom sorry left and bottom right so you can try it a little bit and test it and uh, practice a little bit yeah zoom uh, so for example if this was some kind of complex artwork uh, with lots of details you can zoom in uh, that way in very specific details fast which is great for me for my workflow uh, that was zooming uh, and when i for example scroll this uh, mouse cursor on my top 
uh, menu with tools I can see that when I go over those tools I have tool tips and uh, I can read uh, what those tools do and uh, how I can uh, use shortcuts for some of them to uh, open those tools uh, in this case today we are interested in this one zoom rotate move canvas and it says space bar so we can either press this button here this magnifying glass and it will open some kind of some kind of white circle like gizmo gadget or however you call it with magnifying glass with rotating arrow with arrows to the top bottom left and right or we can as it says press the space bar and here it is the same circle only this time it's blue this is white and this is blue when i press the space so let's try to use that gizmo so for example when i press again wherever i press my space on keyboard that's where my gizmo will show up i'm in top left corner here is my gizmo when i press my space bar i'm in my bottom left corner here it is so this is again this uh, sounds very uh, dumb or stupid to some of you or uh, people who are um, not into uh, artwork on desktop computers or not so long so they think okay this is all uh, working more or less same in uh, that way on mobile phones or in today's user interface the user interface follows me uh, buttons gadgets and so on so that's not the case in uh, uh, classical uh, software and application desktop software and applications in um, um, recent history or uh, um, graphic development or in general in terms of this really really what I want to say is that this really really speeds up your workflow in terms of compared to uh, I don't know Photoshop or some other uh, uh, illustrator or some other software and uh, maybe they have upgraded I haven't used all of those in latest version I must admit but this sketchbook is uh, these sketchbook features they are uh, very old and really uh, they were from the start this productive and this intuitive and this original they had these issues and and features which i'm showing you now uh, from the start always okay so uh let's finally use this so this as you can see here it says uh zoom rotate move canvas so we said canvas is this whole piece of paper this whole white area so when i press for example here or move my cursor and this gadget will follow and hold this down button press and hold it it moves the whole canvas to the bottom same with up and again i don't have to be on this white area i can be here move it up move it down move it right move it left so try to play a little bit with it and again it is why it is important for example i am here now i zoom out so my piece is a little bit here okay move it here i want to draw here okay zoom out so you see how this is my left hand is um, on the keyboard where i'm uh, like when you play a game like fortnite or uh, whatever you play some kind of shooting game uh, a first person shooter or probably your fingers are or are on wasd uh, your thumbnail is on spacebar so just uh, put your hand something like that and try to navigate a little bit with canvas so uh, okay this is cool we can now move and we can now zoom our canvas very fast very intuitive at least for me i hope for you too and uh, that way we can speed our workflow other stuff which we can do is for example we can rotate here and uh, that can be used for example again in many cases if you're an illustrator so for example if i want to uh and when you move 
sorry, rotate your canvas. Uh, it goes in some kind of incremental steps. I think we can define that uh, and in some kind of settings or something like that. But the more important stuff is that you don't have to worry in terms of um, uh, can I really uh, go back to my horizontal view. Yes, it uh, snaps to it. Yes, I hope you saw that. And there. So, for example, if I have some kind of slant uh, <clears throat> area here, and I want to draw house or something like that, uh, so maybe I can do that like this, uh, because it's very simple, it's not difficult, but for uh, some kind of complex uh, complex drawing where I have to draw more details and stuff, I could probably uh, make that a little bit rotated in horizontal and now I'll just draw house in horizontal away and then rotate it back. Or for example, if you want uh, to make some kind of illustration where you have uh, people a uh, little like um, this is like stick figure of guy with a gun and very ugly because I'm drawing with my mouse but uh, for example if you want to have those uh, guys those people on the ceiling like for example it can be a maybe like matrix movie where they uh, jump on the ceiling or run on the walls so uh, you can again do that like this but this will not be very precise it's much more natural to me to rotate oh th this was fast to rotate the whole the whole canvas then draw matrix guy shooting bullets from the ceiling then zoom out a little bit okay this looks fine go back and move up and that's i think yeah uh rotate zoom yeah zoom this works again same as with a mouse wheel so you can do it uh, zo you can zoom with mouse wheel scrolling in and out you can use this gizmo for it i think it has some kind of name maybe it's not called gizmo or gadget i will check that out but that's not very important so far so uh, this gizmo shows up when you press space bar, when you unpress or uh, uh, move your finger from the keyboard, it's not active, it will be active wherever you move your mouse, it will follow it, and you can navigate, zoom, and rotate that way very fast, so you can go from horizontal to maybe vertical to change how your composition works yeah this looks nice and that's all uh very very fast uh i have yeah 13 minutes i have talked a little bit longer but you will uh, master this in a few seconds liter literally yeah, this is really really intuitive you can make i think you can cannot make uh, this user interface better, faster, or more intuitive, at least for me, and uh, at least for sketching, illustration, and drawing. Uh, that's it for this video. See you in the uh, next one. Bye for now.